We preview the Las Vegas Raiders season and tell you if they can go over or under eight and a half wins. And we tell you how you could win $1,000. And it all starts right now. What's going on everyone? It's Matt from Grandstand Betters and last year we cashed on 70% of our season win total prediction so we thought hey let's run it back in 2022 and see if we couldn't hit maybe 91%. We're also excited to announce that our signups for our NFL betting contest at GrandstandBetters.com is now open. The link's below in the description. Go sign up for absolutely free and you have a chance to take home $1,000 of cash and some other great prizes. But without further ado, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smack that like button, because it is time to dive into the Las Vegas Raiders season preview. And the Raiders season win total is set at eight and a half on the over under. What an absolute crazy season for the Raiders last year. They started going three and zero on the season, then they lost two in a row. Then their head coach, John Gruden, resigned. Then they won two games in a row. Then the bye week hit and Ruggs was arrested with a DUI. Then they lost five of their next six. Then they finished off the season winning their last four games, including that epic game against the Broncos in the last week of the season to secure a f the final spot in the AFC. It was absolutely nuts if you're a Raiders fan. It was like being a cardiac kid back in Cleveland in the 80s. You would think they would have uh, been much more stable or they would be much more stable this season, uh, but who knows? With a team from Las Vegas, anything can happen as we saw from last year. Two big factors, though, of why that season was so up and down was their red zone offense and red zone defense. They were fourth worst in the NFL in red zone scoring percentage, only at 49%, which was worse than teams like the Jags, Texans, and Jets. Meanwhile, their defense was dead last in red zone defense. They let teams score 77% of the time they got into the red zone. To put that into perspective, the Lions were the next worst team as they only let teams score on the red zone 70% of the time. Now, however, the Raiders made some huge moves on both sides of the ball to try to fix these things for this upcoming season. Offensively, Raiders signed wide receiver Devontae Adams to a five-year, $141.25 million contract. It was a huge move for the offense, and it rejoined Derek Carr with his college teammate from Fresno State. Now, it might take some time for these two uh, to you know, get some of that rust off between them, but definitely this duo is going to be something special this year. Along with guys like Hunter Renfro, Keelan Cole, and Darren Waller, the offense is going to be even more lethal this season. And with coverages leaning Adams way in the red zone, the choices are endless on who Carr wants to target. And one of those options is running back Josh Jacobs out of the backfield. Don't let his stats from last year fool you. This is a very good running back that was held back uh, majorly by a poor offensive line last season. He managed to put up 1,000 yards in 2020 off of only 3.8 yards per carry, and this guy is a workhorse, but if he gets a little more help uh, from the offensive line this season, he's definitely going to get another 1,000 yards rushing. Defensively, the Raiders had a lot of work to do in the offseason, and they got it done. To start things off, they brought in defensive edge Chandler Jones from the Cardinals and defensive lineman Vernon Butler from the Bills, linebacker Jalen Brown from the Titans, and cornerback Rock Yassin from the Colts. Now, all these guys should start on this team and make some immediate impacts all over the field. The Raiders' defense was not horrible last season. They ranked 14th overall. 13th in passing defense and 19th in run defense. The draft, though, it did not help them. They only had six picks in this year's draft, and the first one was the 90th overall pick. They did grab a couple defensive tackles in the fourth and fifth round, but like we said, nothing notable. So they are going to have to rely on the guys they brought through free agency to get them on the next level this season. Overall, though, the Raiders had a pretty solid team last season, which got them into the playoffs and almost managed to beat the Bengals as they had the ball on the Cincinnati 9 with 30 seconds left in that game. Presumably, they will have a lot less drama surrounding this team, and with the additions they made in the offseason, they have built up a team that we think is going to be a real threat in the AFC. Now, they do have the seventh hardest schedule in the NFL, but the fact that Vegas 
has their win total at 8.5 right now after a 10-win season last year is kind of mind-boggling to us, especially when you factor in last season they had the 8th hardest schedule. So this team has figured out ways to win the past few years, and with the players they now have on the roster, it should come easier and easier for them. So with that all being said, we're going to take the Las Vegas Raiders over 8.5 wins on the season. Now our previews continue this month. We're going to finish up here the AFC West with the Chargers and the Broncos and then dive into the entire NFC. In the meantime, though, don't forget to sign up for that 2022 NFL betting contest over at GrandstandBetters.com. We're giving out great quarterly prizes again this year and the winner, again, will take home $1,000 of cold hard cash. As always, though, sit back, relax, and if you're a Raiders fan, get ready for some football and maybe... Derek Carr being an MVP?